and keeping in mind that the court will not permit anyone to plead guilty who claims to be innocent, what is your plea to murder in the first degree, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Uh, Mr. Goodell, in order uh, for the court, for me to accept your guilty plea, I must be convinced there's a factual basis, and I'm going to have your attorneys assist you with this next part of the uh, guilty plea, um, and they're going to uh, ask you about what you did on or about November 2nd of 2021 that leads you to plead guilty to murder in the first degree. Counsel, whenever you're ready. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> now, Jeremy, <clears throat> like we discussed, I'm just going to have you uh, tell the court what had happened back on November the 2nd of 2021, and if there are uh, questions that I need to follow up in order to fulfill those elements, I'm going to do that. So I'll begin with what was it that you did on November the 2nd, 2021, that caused you to be here today? On November 2nd of 2021, I met um, Willard Miller at Chautauqua Park. I understood that he had the intent to kill Mrs. Graber. Um, Shaden had brought um, a bat, among other supplies, to go through with the murder. And after he had struck Nohima Graber, um, we then moved her off of the trail, um, where I then struck her, and she died as a result. Afterwards, we removed any evidence that we could and that was my recollection of the event on November 2nd. Uh, to follow up, Karen, uh, with regard to uh, premeditation, you understood that as a lookout while Chayden struck her in the back of the head with his bat. And as we discussed, you understood at that point, you had you participated in the planning, you were also culpable of what was going on, and upon seeing that uh, Chayden's strike did not kill Ms. Graber, you also struck her to ensure that she had uh, passed away, is that correct? Correct. Anything further from the state? Judge, um, we believe that the uh, factual basis that's been recited is adequate uh, for the elements as charged um, involving uh, Jeremy Goodale. Uh, we would ask that the court incorporate the minutes of testimony, if you have not already said that, 
there is a detailed statement that is attached to those minutes. Uh, Mr. Cook referenced that in his uh, factual basis with his client uh, that details out Jeremy Goodale's participation in the murder of Noe McGraber. Uh, it would include, as it does in his statement, the uh, planning that went into this uh, particular crime uh, that had occurred for approximately two weeks uh, prior to Noe McGraber's death. Um, Mr. Goodale in those minutes uh, details out how Mr. Miller approached him and essentially recruited him to be uh, involved in this uh, and that it was over uh, a grade that uh, the uh, that Mr. Miller was had in Ms. Graver's class and that was provided the impetus and the motive uh, behind uh, this crime that Mr. Goodale then uh, joined into with Mr. Miller and committed. So we'd ask that you incorporate those minutes that detail those particular facts as well. No, here, Okay. So just uh, for the record, the court, um, pursuant to a stipulation of counsel, uh, is going to consider the minutes of testimony um, in considering the factual basis for this matter. And is it all also stipulated that all these events occurred in, t in Jefferson County, Iowa? Is that correct, Mr. Goodell? Yes, Your Honor. Anything else for the factual basis uh, from the state? No, no, no. Mr. Goodell, have you fully and completely discussed uh, the charge filed against you and your plea with your attorneys? I have, Your Honor. And have you discussed the existence of any possible defenses with your attorneys? Yes. And. Mr. Cook, um, other than a general denial, do you know of any defenses that could affect the outcome of this case? I do not, Your Honor. Mr. Goodell, are you satisfied with the representation your attorneys have given you in this case? I am, Your Honor. And Mr. Cook, have you fully advised Mr. Goodell of his constitutional rights, and are you willing to defend him at trial if he wished to go to trial? Mr. Goodale, have any threats or promises other than the plea agreement been made to get you to plead guilty? No, sir. There are certain rights that you give up, Mr. Goodale, by pleading guilty. I'm going to go through those with you right now. Um, if you continue a, in a plea of not guilty, you're entitled to a speedy and public trial by jury of 12 people, and their verdict must be unanimous. You could also have your case tried to a judge without a jury if you wished. When you plead guilty, there's not a trial of any kind, and by pleading guilty, you're waiving or giving up your right to a trial. At trial, you'd be entitled to have an attorney represent you, and if you couldn't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. A trial, you would have what's called the privilege against self-incrimination. That means you cannot be required to testify against yourself. You'd also have the right at confrontation at trial, which is uh, the witnesses whose names are on the minutes of testimony uh, would have to come into the courtroom, take the witness stand under oath, and testify in front of you be subject to cross-examination by your attorneys. You also have the right to subpoena witnesses on your behalf and compel their attendance at trial, even if they did not want to voluntarily attend and testify. At trial, you're presumed innocent until the state proves, if ever, that you're guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And Mr. Goodell, do you understand by pleading guilty you're giving up all those legal and constitutional rights uh, I just went through with you. I do, Your Honor. And is it your desire to waive those rights and plead guilty here today? It is. There are certain uh, maximum and minimum penalties associated with the crime of murder in the first degree. Um, now, this crime usually carries with it uh, 
life in prison without the possibility of parole, but because you are um, under the age of 18 when the offense occurred, um, that uh, there is a possibility of parole. So the maximum term that usually applies to the Class A felony of murder of the first degree, uh, you have um, a lesser maximum than, the, than an adult who committed this offense at, if, under the age of 18. So um, at, at trial or at sentencing, um, it's my understanding the state has said that they're going to recommend um, a minimum sentence of no less of less than 25 years. Your uh, counsel is free to argue for whatever sentence um, uh, they feel is appropriate or you want to have ordered. And the, the court ultimately will make the decision on what the sentence is, but the life sentence with a possibility of parole is required by both the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court and the Iowa Supreme Court, there is no fine uh, on a murder in the first degree charge a felony. There is a requirement that you be jointly and severally liable for restitution of at least $150,000. That's pursuant to 9103B. Um, and that's paid to the heirs of Naima Graber.